Stan Jabalisco here. Have you ever wondered why they call a certain type of alternating current waveform a sine wave, S-I-N-E? -E. And the reason is quite simple. It's, it looks exactly like a graph of the mathematical sine function, which I show here on a simple Cartesian plane ranging from minus 3 pi radians to plus 3 pi radians. Now pi radians is actually 180 degrees of phase. So 2 pi radians is 360 degrees. 3 pi radians would be 540 degrees or a cycle and a half. And you can see that quite clearly one cycle and a half and then another cycle and a half. So I'm showing three complete cycles of a sine wave. The mathematical abbreviation for sine is SIN and theta simply represents the angle whether in radians or in degrees. The vertical axis represents the mathematical value of the function and in this case uh, the peak the positive and negative peak amplitudes of the wave are 1 and minus 1 that is the simple sine function now any sine wave looks like some variant on this waveform it might be uh, 2 sine theta, in which case the amplitude would go up to 2 and down to minus 2, or the frequency might be different, in which case you would get uh, a value of some fraction of, uh, of uh, well, you, what you would have to do is you would have to multiply the entire function appropriately in order to get the number of cycles you want, but generally speaking you would assign time values to these angles rather than multiplying the function itself. So this might be say one millionth of a second representing one cycle. Another millionth of a second, another millionth of a second, 10 to the minus 6 seconds. That would represent a frequency with an amplitude of plus or minus one and a frequency of one million cycles per second or one million hertz. But always a sine wave can be reduced by appropriate multiplication of the horizontal and vertical axes to this exact waveform. It looks just like that every time. Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time, so long.